isomerization. Ethene does not show isomerization, whereas higher alkynes shows one or more of the following types of isomerization. The chain isomerization, one pentine, it shows isomerization with 3 methyl 1 butyne, in the same manner position isomerism, 1 butyne, 2 butyne, 1 pentyne, 2 pentyne, the functional isomerism, the propyne and propa 1 2 diene, 1 butyne and 1 3 buta diene, and 1 2 buta diene, 1 butyne, 1 3 buta diene, and 1 2 buta diene, ring chain isomerism, propyne, cyclopropene, but 1 diene, cyclobutene. Alkynes do not show geometrical isomerism because of linearity of the molecules around the triple bond. Therefore, C4H6 may exist in four isomeric forms, 1-butyne, 2-butyne, 1-2-butadiene, and 1-3-butadiene. C5H8 may exist as 1-pentyne, 2-pentyne, penta-1-3-diene, 2-methyl-1-3-butadiene, penta-1-2-diene, and penta-2-3-diene. Next, preparation. Alkynes may be prepared by the dehydrogenation of Wick or Gem dihalides. Wick or Gem dihalides. For example, the reaction is when alkene is treated with bromine, it gives the ethylene dibromide, which on further reaction with alcoholic KOH, it gives the CH, triple bond CH, along with the formation of HBr. It further reacts with to give CH2 double bond CHBr, the vinyl bromide, which are further reacts with NaNS2 in presence of NaNS2, it gives acetylene. Ethylene dibromide or ethylene bromide reacts with alcoholic QH, it gives CH2 double bond CHBr, which are further reacts with NaNS2, it gives CH triple bond CH. The use of alcoholic QH gives rise to side reactions and causes the migration of the C double bond C bond to the center of the molecule. The soda amide can be used instead of potassium hydroxide and the quantity are obtained by this method is usually better. Next, by dehydrohalogenation or of weak tetrahalides. Reaction with active metals like zinc, magnesium, etc. 1122 tetrabromoethane gives the corresponding bromoalkenes, which on further reaction with zinc gives corresponding acetylene. Next method by coal based electrolytic method. Here the potassium fumarate is electrolyzed which gives the corresponding acetylene or alkene along with the formation of carbon dioxide gas at anode and potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas at cathode. Next, by the hydrolysis of calcium carbide, this is a, lab, this is a laboratory method of acetylene. By the action of water on calcium carbide, this is CSC2 placed in a flask, it gives a corresponding alkyne. The reaction is CSC2 plus 2H2O, it gives C2H2 plus calcium hydroxide. The C2H2 is acetylene. The reaction is called the Wohler's reaction. The above reaction, this reaction can be formulated as a Bronsted acid base reaction. Where the base is the triple bond, the acid is water, it gives the acid H. C triple bond CH plus 2OH. Since acetylene forms an explosive mixture with air, the latter is displaced from the flask by oil gas. Impurities like H2S, uh, ammonia, NS3, arsine, and phosphine present in acetylene are removed by passing the gas through an acidic copper sulfate solution. The reaction is S2S plus CUSO4, it gives the CUS plus S2SO4, CUS as precipitate. The phosphine, the PS3, when reacts with copper sulfate, it forms Cu3, P2, which again precipitates along with the formation of sulfuric acid. 
the pure gas is collected over water. In the manufacture of acetylene, calcium carbide is obtained by heating calcium oxide, quick lime, with coke in an electric furnace.